Oh, it's just crazy, guys. It's just crazy. What's up? We're back from our Cirrus, and we have run away from that last battle. It was totally nuts. Totally, what I say, crazy. So we're going to go here. We're going to try to hire on some help uh, so we can take out and just finish up this whole area here. I I'm not going to go ahead and buy a ship. Aye, aye. Whoa. Move. Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, I'm not going to go buy a ship or anything like that, but we are going to hire a few people that already have ships, and, uh, and some of you have actually given me your names to go ahead and join our play. But I want to go ahead and name the characters that we end up giving our own ships to, uh, to actually naming them. I, I don't want to name people that already have ships, like uh, like these fellows right here in the ship's market. Uh, we're probably just going to go with... Uh, oh, wait, here we go. Crew captains. Yeah, these guys right here, they already have names. But one day when we start hiring our own captains and our own ships, that's when I'll use your names. But okay, so let's see. Uh, let's sell some stuff and get our whole situation together, do some repairs, and get some minerals. So we hired on one single ship, and they seem pretty darn weak. Um, just taking a look at the uh, the Satyr, and yeah, all, all the systems here seem pretty basic, and the weapons that it has right here, I mean, these are our weapons, Salty Dog, but the Satyr, it looks like they have a single missile launcher with really good range. It's 3,000 range, so it's almost double our range. But, you know, it's it's a it's a pretty slow shooter, 11 second reload time. And then it has one laser on it as well. And we can't do any customizing to it because it's just it's just someone else's ship that we paid to go ahead and just join us for the time being. So, yep, there she is right over there. I guess <laughs> I guess we'll put her in some yeah. good work. She can just go ahead and follow us and I guess support us. And we've got our one buddy here. Named Kato. So, he's gonna join us with his one missile launcher, and we're flying in unison right now. It's pretty easy. I just, just gotta select yeah. him like this, and then double click in the direction you want online. us to go, and bada boom, there we go. We just kinda fly in unison. It's very nice, very easy to go ahead and manage all this stuff. He's got 50 yeah. missiles on board, and yeah, right there. And then we actually have, I think, about 2,000 nice. slugs. <laughs> yeah, I went crazy this time. I made sure we had tons of slugs. So we don't run out of ammo in this mission, so hopefully we can go ahead and keep our guy alive, our, our buddy alive here, that, that is, because he's just flying in a small, tiny little ship, and his armor is pitiful. I think his armor is like, it's like, it's like literally 60, 60 all around. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, we got like 900 something. And as we get closer to our target, checking out the quest log here, it seems like we're pretty much done everything in this area that, that, that we can manage. Uh, except for just these two secondary missions, so just these two sites right here, and then this above average difficulty striking distance mission that we're almost there. And then I think after we take this out today, I want to check out this huge wreckage over here that we noticed last time. Because it just looks really cool. So I want to get to this eventually. But alright, so for now, let's go ahead and do this thing. Hopefully I can pull these guys away with his uh, long range missiles. Can kind of pull them towards us so we don't uh, entangle both missions together, that's what I'm thinking. Alright, so we're both pinging our signals, and we're still not picking up anything, anything in the area here, except for each other. I also gave us these, uh, signs right here so we can easily, uh, find who we are on this, on this friendly map here. But okay, I'm still not seeing anyone. We're really, we're like literally on top of these guys. We'll see though, uh, I, I didn't really check the range of his sensors. Okay, there we go, we just spotted them. Let me, let me go ahead and pause it. Let me stop both ships, actually. Yeah. Stopping. Let's stop, and then like, I guess let's start shooting a missile at, I guess, this fellow All here. <laughs> there we go, so the missile goes off, and looks like they're already shooting at us, but we're set on defensive. They're firing yes, at us. They're firing oh, man. Alright, but we're, alright, so maybe I can go ahead and tank him while we do some damage here. Oh, uh, you know what? That's alright. I'm gonna leave this one guy here. We're gonna charge on forward to get our guns within range. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. Alright, let's do this. Let's charge on in. And hopefully we don't upset any more people in the area. Just gotta get within 1600, alright, something like that. Alright, let's go ahead and target these guys. We're taking a flurry of hits, but luckily we're also, uh, we have our guy here launching some missiles at these fellows here. Hopefully they're gonna go ahead and get some work done. Let me go ahead and stop them right about here. Let's go back to our ship, and okay. Alright, so we'll just gotta take the pain for a while. Hopefully we're gonna get through to some of these guys. We're not close enough to see their status. This guy right here is the one that we're uh, we're working on right now. Obviously, we're taking structural damage. Yeah, we're we're taking we're taking a lot of damage. Let's try to spin our ship if possible. There's not really much we can do. These guys are just so damaging. Darn it, man. Darn it. Even with everything we have right now, there's not much we can do. Even with both these ships, I mean, like I guess the added missiles don't really do that much, right? Z shoots pretty slow. Oh man, this is tough, man. I'm not I'm not sure. There we are, right there. <laughs> I think we're gonna be done. 
Is this guy even doing anything? Commander, structure is failing. Okay, so restarted. This ship is absolutely worthless. This, uh, our little helper right here, the only thing he's maybe good for is helping us take out some missiles that are incoming. But other than that, his little missile, you know, that's, that's just like no DPS at all. So <laughs> I'm going to dismiss him once we get back, if he survives this. Just going to charge on in a little bit. Let's speed up time a bit. And, oh man, I really want to get, like, a prettier looking ship. A ship that's really good. We could reuse most of our components. This ship's worth like 30 grand right now. So we could probably sell it and upgrade to another class. Okay, here we go. We got some contacts again. We're just going to continue rushing on in. Oh, I like how it slowed down time. Yeah, we're, we're just going to go right in there and just attack these guys, like, at the first notice. There we go. All right. So let's get in there. Come on, guys. Let's target this guy. Everybody start shooting here. Right. Why Why you no shoots? That's weird. All weapons on target. There we go. Now they're shooting. <laughs> Come on, guys. All right. So it looks like our little guy's flying right in there. Uh, I guess head first. <laughs> Oh, that's right, let's get our repair systems going here, too. I just... Alright, there we go, there we go. Get all this stuff going here. The same thing with our little guy as well. There we go, have it has... Re oh, he's not gonna survive very long. Uh, but that's, that's uh, I guess, that's to be expected. Alright, so, can we actually see these guys now? Can we actually, like, get to the bottom of this? Okay, let's look at the guy who's taking all the damage. How are they, le how are they taking all these shots? Oh, I see, they're mostly missile ships. That's what it is. Are these guys really pouring into all this fire? Where's all this shooting coming from? No, it's coming from them. Darn it, man. We're just like not even touching these guys. I don't get it. Wow, man. All right, so this time we just quite literally got in their faces. Oh, we just lost our helper. <laughs> we just got in their faces and just charged them with everything that we had. Uh, and there we go. All right, so we're just throwing, we're just getting right in there. There we go, and just attacking them. Yeah. There we go, with all the lasers and all that madness, and hopefully this is going to be enough to take this guy out. I mean, we're just putting out all the defense, all the DPS that we can. I think we got the right idea, though. Just charging him head-on and hitting him like this point-blank range is the way to go ahead and do it. Uh, maybe next time I'll rotate my ship a little bit, too. Alright, so I think we're gonna do it. We uh, pretty much just sent in our first guy to be uh, sacrificed. Now we're in range of lasers. And we already blew up the first one. We're targeting right on this front here. Uh, we're getting blown up pretty badly, too. We'll go ahead and rotate because we got this uh, second group down here attacking us. But looks like this guy's about ready to go down. He's the last one of this. We should have mission complete. Come on, baby. Do it. Do it. Oh, my gosh. There we go. We got him. All right. Now, we also gained another level, too. We gained two levels out of this battle. It's pretty epic. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's go in this direction and just run away. We finally did it. We finally, finally did it. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Don't give me the, none of that nonsense. Come on, powered engines, let's go. Yes, oh, cool, we got money to our account. <laughs> nice. Yeah, now let's get the heck out of here. We lost a friend. Uh, well, he wasn't really a friend. He was just like a, a, a guy. <laughs> but we did it. We did it. Just had to charge in. And, yeah, now we're going to go ahead and repair. And now we can finally do one mission at a time. It's crazy. So don't accept all missions at the same time when you're... Oh, yeah, we can go back to defensive. Yeah, don't accept all missions at once. Moving out. Just accept them one at a time so this doesn't happen. Fully armored and repaired and reloaded. Alright, so we're going back here to take out the last mission in this area that we can handle for now before we move on uh, to other places in the solar system. And we hired on the last girl who's alive and who wants to work for us here. <laughs> so, so she's got this ship here with uh, one large cannon here, which is nice. It, or, I mean, it's a medium-sized cannon, just like the cannons we have. Same range, 1600. And she has one little laser support thing right here. So that's pretty cool. So she actually is going to be worth some uh, some value to us as, as we try to take on uh, like this mission and probably other missions along the way. So, so that's good. So she's a welcome uh, addition. And here we go. So, so she's going to take up one of our uh, six slots. That's cool. But eventually we'll fill these with our own ships. I can't wait to do that. So we start having our own fleet and we start building it up and customizing every ship. Because right now we can't customize her ship because she owns it her, her, herself. But eventually, we'll have our own fleet. And I won't be taking names for it. I already got two names down. <laughs> so, all right. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to go to this striking distance mission. Take it out. That mission over there is extremely hard, so we're not going to do that for a while. But, yeah, okay, good. So, uh, so we, we, uh, we go yes, in there. Commander. 
All right, and I love this. I, I feel like we're gonna go ahead and get on top here. So we're gonna rush on in yeah. without using our scanners or sensors so we kind of get them uh, off guard. And yeah, just, just rush on in there and just, just shoot them point blank range so we can focus on like one specific side of their ship and take them out real quick. And I feel like this can be the way to do it just like I did before. Uh, yeah, all right, so I mean, I, I know we have a range of 1600, but sometimes when you're shooting so far away, uh oh. Looks like they already, they're already they already onto us, but that's okay though. We're just gonna go ahead and go all the way in here as, as far as we can. Yep. Well, luckily we both have anti-missile lasers, so let's just keep going. I mean, he could pop up on our radar if we uh, used our scanners now, but I don't want to alert anyone else that might be nearby. I think there's some events that might happen. And we're not getting hit by any missiles, so that's good at least. So we're almost there. On the move. Rushing on in. They're firing at us. It's okay, it's okay, man. Just just hold steady, man. Hold steady. It's good that we're actually taking the hits and not her, since her ship is uh, a lot weaker. I might even put some energy to uh to engines. No, I think I think we'll make it there just fine. We're not even really getting hit, honestly. We're doing alright, right, Salty Dog? Kind of. 83%? Uh those shots do kinda hurt. But it should be coming within like regular scanner range soon. Oh you know what the heck with it. Let's let's pulse. Let's do it. Alright, let's take this guy out. Everybody attack. <laughs> Alright, good. So, uh, I'm gonna go straight to, uh, aggressive here, honestly, with, with everyone. Uh, just so we could use our lasers. Point blank range. Here we go. Get him off guard. I don't think we're gonna need these, uh, these pulses anymore. I think he's close enough to where we don't need to alert everyone. There's another unknown contact somewhere around here. Oh, we got him already! Alright, so where is this rowdy fella? Oh, there we go. There's a guy right there. Good, so she's shooting. I'm shooting. Very good. And mission completed. Wow, that was, that was so much easier than, um, that's great that, that we didn't get overwhelmed and ambushed. Ha! <laughs> awesome. Nice addition. And now that we got ourselves a pretty awesome team here, I want to go ahead and check out this crash site over here just before we leave this area to check out other places in the solar system. Also, I went ahead and upgraded everyone uh, in levels. We're level 12 now, which is crazy, so we put two, two ranks in the Bounty Hunter, two ranks in the Cannon Crazy, uh, one, one rank in the Material Expert. I'm gonna start doing this more so we gain resistances to all types of damage. This is really the best way to become a tank. And, uh, yeah, two levels in Armorer. Went ahead, brought up our, uh, I see, pretty much brought everything up to, like, 50% that, that really matters. So we get some good bonuses here and there. Especially the, uh, Cargo Organizer. We can store a lot more in our ship now. And I also upgraded our Girly here as well. Uh, yeah, I just kinda gave her, since she has a cannon, I went ahead and put up her kinetic weapon stuff up a lot and cannon crazy two levels. So there we go. So she's a cannon expert, so am I. <laughs> and we're just going to go ahead and roll with that. So, all right, we'll see what we find at this site. Maybe it's just for mining? Oh, repair target. So it's just like a damaged site. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I guess we could jump here. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cruise. Oh, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of guns on this thing. I hope it doesn't start shooting at us. Yeah, and going to this place was not a smart idea, so we're getting the heck out of here. There's Already there's a few of these bad here. guys that showed up here. One of them's called Black Seal, and we have a- oh my gosh, we have tons. We have tons of guys showing up here. Yeah, so uh, we put tons of powered engines, we're getting the heck out of this place. Yeah, we, we yes, do not- man, we do not belong in this part of space. Yes, we uh, we getting out. So after our other brush with death, we're finally back here to this mining rock to say goodbye to this little part of the solar system, at least for now. But look at this, check out this cruiser right here. I want this, the horrendous. It's amazing, look at this. So it has five external hard points for tons and tons of guns and cannons. And it has a uh, base 200 storage space for cargo. It's, it's like, it's like so good. It's like so good. So, one day, <laughs> we gotta get like 40,000 to buy this thing. Or I guess we could sell our ship and then tr kind of trade it in or whatever. But I feel like we're gonna be the tank of our fleet. We gotta have like real armored up stuff. Just be like a like a total inspiration to the rest, but uh, yeah, but that's that's still that's that's a little ways off. So I think I'm going to go ahead and improve our like I guess trade skill uh, step. Yeah. Is this right here? It's pretty deep right here. Is this trader thing also affects mission fees and stuff like that as well? So I think we got to boost that up to make more money for missions. Okay, so let's go out into the uh, solar system and see where else we can do missions at. And here we are sitting up for adventure for next time. All right, so we're at the solar system map. And, uh, and unfortunately, we have to leave our hired ships behind. If we had our own fleet of our own custom ships, we'd, they'd be able to come with us, obviously. But people who we hire for the area have to stay in the area. Because I guess they live there, you know? They don't, they don't hang out with us. So 
there's so many places we can go in this in this universe. This is uh, this is a risky place. Uh, yeah, there's like asteroid fields. There's like Venus. You can go to Mercury. I mean, you can go like pretty much everywhere. <laughs> like like in the in the regular solar system. I think I might go to New Mars orbit. I want to check that out. Its rating is safe, and I feel like you know if, if there's some easy missions there, some easy cash, we can uh, we can go ahead and and get some cash there. But there's there's also other places that are risky. This place is dangerous. There's this cloud over here. It's very dangerous. <laughs> There's so, so many places. So this is going to be amazing. Oh my goodness. We just need to make some money and get a cruiser, really. That's that's like that's like my biggest concern is getting a cruiser, number one. And then after we get a cruiser, then then we can start building a fleet of like destroyers and, and, uh, and frigates and all types of uh, maybe other cruisers, too. Okay, so setting course to New Mars Orbit. So arriving at New Mars. Looks like there's a lot of turrets here. There's a lot of protection. Seems like a, the most secure area that we've been in so far. Oh, there's someone racing by over there. What's that? I don't know. But all right, so I'm gonna check out the station here, see what they have for sale. Maybe, maybe they have like a like a, a better cruiser for cheaper. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see you next time. We'll dive into all this, or actually, even what missions that they have. All right, let's go, go ahead and stop. Let's talk with this one station here. Let's check the mission market. Waterworks. Oh, hard. Oh, that's too hard. But we're gonna check all the missions around here. Just so curious about the ship market. Oh, looks like they got a lot of ships. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Oh yeah, they have, oh, they have a similar, oh, all right. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> yes, I want all these ships. This is gonna be our fleet one day, I can't wait. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. Oh, so much to explore still.